On this week's episode, we talk about Super Pets from DC. And the new Netflix movie, The Grey Man. Plus, lots of other pop culture news of the week. We have lots to talk about this week between San Diego Comic-Con and The Grey Man and Super Pets. So, let's get started. Okay, first we saw uh, The Grey Man on mm -hmm. Netflix, uh, directed uh, by the Russo brothers, uh, uh, famous for the Marvel movies, the Avengers movies, the Winter Soldier movie, mm -hmm. Civil War, uh, you know. Uh, everybody knows the Russell Brothers, everybody knows the MCU. So they directed this new Netflix movie called The Grey Man <coughs> with uh, Ryan Gosling on the on the role of The Grey the Man, Man, the title role, mm -hmm. uh, on the DR Moss and uh, Chris Evans. Is there anyone, anyone else famous that we should mention? There are plenty of other familiar faces, but those are the big names. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's like a spy action movie the gray man are mm -hmm. super agents recruit recruited uh in prison so sort of a, like suicide squad mm -hmm. uh, by uh billy bob thornton uh, uh that's another big oh name. yeah there's, uh, there's your other celebrity yeah and it's a uh, it's a story about yeah this type of super agent mm -hmm. and chris evans is the bad guy on the dear moss is uh is a is a federal agent too that mm -hmm. she helps <laughs> the main character and it's fun it's full of action mm -hmm. it's interesting it's well written uh it's a good cast yeah um yeah what do you want to say about it it's got everything you could ask for from a spy thriller we've got a good mystery this whole like who do you trust who's a good guy who's a bad guy um you've got exotic costumes and locations um, um but it ends up with with uh, that ends up having like you know a lot of a lot of heart and kind of a sweet there's like kind of a sweet side to it all um there's like cool weapons cool fight scenes and ryan gosling is a funny guy so there are good like he's he's very good with things like time like comedic timing and stuff like that so there are um it's not like a funny goofy movie but there are plenty of it's um, a russo brothers movie yeah so it has comedic moments like yeah yeah, you know, but it all fits in there really nicely, yeah. and Ryan Gosling's delivery is perfect. It doesn't break up. The little the girl, the little girl, I can't remember her name. She was an American mm -hmm. housewife. She was in mm -hmm. a Tarantino movie, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. She's on this too. Yeah, uh, and yeah, yeah. I we don't want to spoil anything. Um, I do think that that young woman whose name I will probably never remember. I just think of her as Anna Cat, which is her role in American Housewife. She's like super underrated. I feel like we should be seeing her way more just because she's I feel like she's a really talented young actor oh, The fact that we see her uh, don't see her enough is is actually a good thing. You know, it, it, it means She's speaking the roles. Yeah, you know? that she's not doing everything She's not at the time of her career to do Everything because and it's probably means she's having a healthier childhood. Yeah. So I rescind my former comments and, and her price tag is like up high because Tarantino <laughs> be, she yeah. had, was on a broadcast syndicated show uh -huh. uh, I think it was syndicated uh, anyways and uh, And now on yeah. a big Netflix movie the most expensive uh, The highest budget Netflix movie to date is really? actually tied with Red Notice the one uh, with, but Red Notice had uh, The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot. Gadot. Was like yeah, three big superstars. Those are big ticket names. If anything, this one has two, and you know, I don't know if Evans is still worth that much. Yeah. Anyways, the movie is fun. Mm -hmm. The the critics are not very happy about it, but the fans are loving it. Yeah, it's super the, fun. The, the the ratings from the viewers are yeah. up there. And it's good enough that a sequel and a spin off are already in development. Yeah, and there's, at a, Netflix, and there's so. a lot you can do since, you know, Super Spies. Yes. And, you know. It kind of creates, it reminded me a little bit of the Born Identity. Like, it could stand alone, but it also kind of creates its own little version of, like, the CIA, its own spy community universe that could work. Oh, uh, Wagner Mora was in it? Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Like so, so there were a few big names. Yeah, the the bad guy, one of the bad guys. Uh, uh, it's uh, is uh, I don't know his name. I think he was. I read somewhere that I think he was in some of uh, those Bridget Bridgerton shows. He's mm. uh, 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 this black young man. He's he's good. I, I like him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every everyone did a great job. In fact, I keep forgetting that Chris Evans was in it because he's such a douche canoe in this. Like he's such a horrible person. Um, that it just it doesn't even seem like Captain America, Chris Evans. Like, you know, it's like, but, but, but he, he'd been a bad guy before. He was a bad guy on, it's on that true. movie. With the Knives Out. That one, and also uh, back when uh, what's it called? The 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 John Michael Sarah. Uh, oh, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. yeah, but this one, he's like, he's just so awful, and he's got this mustache. Like, I just say props to. Um, his acting and to the costume and makeup department for just completely transforming him into somebody <laughs> yeah. truly horrible. Um, so, but but all that to say, his awfulness was part of making this movie really fun. Um, so I highly recommend it. I'm very much looking forward to sequels and spinoffs. Um, yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun. The Gray Man uh, with uh, Ryan Gosling, mm-hmm. directed produced by. Uh, Russo, Russo Brothers, Brothers mm-hmm. for Netflix is available on Netflix everywhere. Uh, one quick thing we're gonna get to the MCU, but one quick thing about the Russo Brothers is good that they have several franchises on Netflix. They have this, they have Extraction mm-hmm. with with Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth. So they're bringing their their, their Marvel, Marvel buddies. People. It's yeah. good that they are doing this because uh, they announced uh, several new Avengers movies. And the first one, nothing. There's not a lot of details about the second one, but the first one, they're not involved. They're not gonna direct. But we're gonna talk more about that later. Okay. So, Gray Man available mm-hmm. on Netflix. Go watch it. It's full of action. It's fun. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Total mood shift. Um, DC and Warner Brothers just for this a really fun, cute, uh, like family kid oriented animation called Super Pets. Um, it's starring. Crypto, uh, Superman's dog, and then a bunch of other pets who end up with superpowers. And we took our five and three year old to see it today, and they loved it. And we had a good time too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really fun. It was uh, uh, an animation produced by Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and mm-hmm. his, you know, his team, the yep. seven, seven was books. Danny Garcia. Yeah, he and Hiran, Hiran, Hiran Garcia, uh, mm-hmm. and this company, Seven Bucks. If you watch his show, you know why they call Seven Bucks. Because, mm-hmm. anyways, uh, and uh, it has on the main role as well, uh, Dwayne mm-hmm. Johnson as Crypto, Kevin Hart as Ace. The bad dog, uh, and then we have a lot of talented people. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Melissa Bayer, is it Vanessa Bayer? Yes. Right. We have uh, John Krasinski, mm-hmm. the Superman. And Superman. We have uh, David Diggs, uh, Cyborg. We have uh, Oliver Wilde as Lois Lane. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else? I really liked her voice for Lois Lane. Who's that? Should do that more. Um, cr- oh shoot. Who's the who's the uh, the uh, Kate, Kate McKinnon. McKinnon? I was I always think Kristen Wiig, but it's like the other extremely funny SNL comedian whose name starts with a K. Anyway, and Kate McKinnon is the evil um, guinea pig. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, um, yeah. So it's a like yeah big cast that they pulled together, and yeah, it's really it's really fun. Ben Schwartz. Yes. Uh, what's the the idiot from Thomas Middleton? Thomas Middle mm-hmm. Middle is it Middle Church? Middle it's Middle Ditch. Okay, I always think it's Middle Church for some reason. Mm. Yes, nope. He, it's in the middle he, of a ditch. <laughs> ditch. Uh, and uh, uh, who else? Who does the uh, the the third though? Oh shoot, I don't remember. The turtle. Yeah. Oh come on. Anyways, it's like yeah. so many talented. People. Every voice you hear is somebody. Great animation, mm-hmm. beautifully done, uh, uh, entertaining yeah. from beginning to mm-hmm. to end. Uh, it has a it's lot very of very lighthearted. It makes fun of itself a lot. Yeah, and it has uh, has a lot of uh, references to to you know the the comic book. The, the superhero universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a scene, not, not not spoiling, but there's a scene right in the beginning that, you know, uh, Action Comics number one, Superman is holding a green car. Yes. With a, a person's like, ah! 
they they do that with crypto mm-hmm. and it, it it's fun it, it has room for so much more and yeah they could totally do a sequel with this they have the, they have the super fun. pets and the justice league and mm-hmm. they balance that in a way that it works very well yeah and it's and they managed to do dc has this reputation for being very dark and very heavy they took all of those same themes a lot of these same heroes and characters and package it in a way that was really great for little kids um things like figuring out your identity and your powers and um oh well anyway good versus evil um sacrifice loyalty all these all these great big things and and put it into this fun fun and sweet package and yeah our girls our our three-year-old in particular was like she was laughing she was dancing there were a few moments where she was like, oh so cute and uh, she was saying that um yeah. so and yeah our, our five our five-year-old is a little bit more serious about her film experiences and she was just eating it up so and heroes in, in, yeah. in, in uh Heroes as as role models for kids, which is which mm. is uh, one of the main things. Not for kids, but for those too. And how the heroes have to <coughs> to make sacrifices and make the the, the uh, tough decisions to, to yeah. save and protect others. And you know uh, the the you know role models as heroes should be. Uh, and the bad guys are bad. You know, even, mm-hmm. even though it's an animation, the way it ends is, but bad guys bed with not with no uh confusion or or, or motivations and like, oh if it was you <laughs> actually am i am i am i someone might interpret the fact that the, anyways i'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil but either way the 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 good guys are good they're good examples and mm-hmm. you know you got people that kids should support and should mm-hmm. you know mirror themselves and uh the dc the league of Super pets. Mm-hmm. Uh, we highly recommend. It's fun. Yeah. It's uh, out in the theaters everywhere. Yes, as summer comes to a close, this is a great family activity. It's something that's just very fun, and it is so nice to take a break from like as uh, yeah. It's just so nice to take a break from reality and just enjoy something that is simple and lighthearted and wholesome. And anyway, definitely recommend it. Take your family. Have a great time. Yeah, we saw a lot of families. The theater was um, considerably full. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, one thing that we're going to talk about uh, San Diego is people mm. were expecting Superman, Henry Cavill. Because Deadline published this rumor that he oh. would be there. So it spread like fire and yeah. everybody got excited. Everybody went, you know. To see Superman, people want Superman. People went and got disappointed because he didn't go there. And one of the things that I noticed with this movie is like Superman sells. Put Superman on the movie, people will yeah. go watch. Superman dog is bringing people to the movies. So uh, uh, it's uh, it's something to to watch. It's something to learn. If those idiots, uh, uh, the uh, Warner Brothers, mm. didn't, but we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna discuss <laughs> a little bit of that. But yeah, so the, the the movie was fun. Families, uh, all ages, like uh, yeah. uh, older people, young kids, families uh-huh. together. It's a good time to do that. Uh, Stay to the very end. We made a mistake. Yes. We thought, okay, that's it. We didn't see anything on the internet about post credit scenes, and so we left after a mid credit scene, and oh, we missed. Then this guy came out of the theater and he was like, "You guys should have stayed." My daughter made a stay, and she was right. There's a scene at the very, very, very end. And it must um, be good. The guy, the guy was crying, <laughs> crying, laughing. But you can see yeah. his tears. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was so, spectacular. Uh, You're gonna have to to see it again and find yes. some way to see it. I am kicking myself quite hard. Yeah. Um, Anyways, anyway, DC, the League of Super Pets. Super Pets. So fun. And yeah, available everywhere. Mm-hmm. You, you should go see it. All right. Um, in the meantime, Nope is still doing well. Um, this is the the latest thriller horror from Jordan Peele. Um, it's their box office opening was forty four million dollars. Yes, which feels like good for this film, yeah. right? Yeah, and he and it was number one for that week, uh, I think. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think it's the third movie in a row that Jordan Peele makes number one uh, on the opening weekend. So, mm-hmm. yeah, he's, he's, he's doing it. Yeah, he's established a <laughs> reputation for himself and he's living up to it. Fun fact, the, the park on the show, it was called Juniper's, not Juniper's. Uh, oh, Jupiter's Jupiter's place. Landing crossing. Jupiter's landing. Jupiter's yeah. Anyway. Anyways, uh, the it, it got a permanent spot in Universal Studios. Oh. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's part of the uh, the, the tour. It's part the of the tour. attraction. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, my dad was asking me if I if he should go see Thor. Um, and I was like, this is a, you can take it or leave it. Nope. However, it's definitely worth a movie ticket. Um, oh, so he asked you if you should watch Thor, and you said, and I nope. said, nope, <laughs> exactly. precisely, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, okay so About th- Thor, uh, Thor oh. it had the worst one of the worst drops from from the premiere to the second weekend, and in co- consequently the next wow. week. Wow, even worse than Doctor Strange. <coughs> yeah, because that one probably. didn't do great either. Yeah, and it's it's uh, the f- I'm not sure if the formula is getting old. I'm not sure if it's the high expectations and you're going to talk about the mcu in san diego and some of the stuff coming Mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't build up like you know yeah anyways uh so just just a bit about uh, about box office Mm -hmm. but real quick before we get more into the mcu and upcoming um projects and and all that stuff um a little bit of news from hollywood a uh, member of the Academy, Jeffrey Cooper, has been sentenced to eight years in prison for child molestation. Yeah. Which and is it's good terrible that, that it happened, but I'm so happy. Yeah, it's good that that, that, uh, that happened. He He's answering for his crimes because mm-hmm. in Hollywood, there's a lot that the people that get away with stuff. Yeah. There's, there's people that we never hear about doing mm-hmm. bad stuff, at least this time. Yeah. Uh, Until like decades later when someone comes forward like... Uh, that kid who was in the Goonies and is an adult Corey now. Corey Feldman. Yes. Until someone like Corey Feldman comes forward and is like, hey, I had a horrible, horrific childhood and all these bad things happened. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's a good thing that uh, that happened. And mm-hmm. I don't think the Academy said much about it. I mean, I guess, you know. Yeah. It's the type of thing. That, I don't know. I don't know. You know, they like, shh, quiet about it. But yeah, the law got this guy, and mm-hmm. uh, let's hope it gets uh, more. Yes. The we, other ones, they are free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery is still shaking up their administration, their top-level offices. Yes, and uh, this one is a big one because, uh, you know, with everything that happened, that happened uh, uh San Diego Comic Con and Harry Calvin wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was actually a couple of days later was announced that he, uh, we knew that he was shooting The Witcher, but a couple of days later was announced that because of COVID, he wasn't actually shooting. He was uh, uh, recluded. He was in quarantine, whatever. Mm. So they stopped production for that. Anyways. Uh, he didn't come, even though everybody expected. This is a funny moment, and that's funny but ironic moment in the trailer of Black yes. Adam, because like people wanted a hero, <laughs> but they, they had, got me. They instead. got me instead. It was like that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what happened at San Diego Comic Con, uh-huh. and and that's the trailer they presented that. Anyways, so it was announced that Alan Horn is that's his name, right? Yes. Alan Horn is gonna be a uh, uh, what's what's his role? Senior advisor. Senior advisor. This is a big name in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. He was former CEO of Disney. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So okay. it's some some big names, some change. You know, Disney had the MCU. He he was involved on mm-hmm. the MCU in two thousand ten. So he helped help the process. So maybe there's a uh, hope for uh, the Snyderverse, even though mm-hmm. Jim Lee dismissed the the idea at, at San Diego. Yeah, we get more to it. But the the big thing is, this guy is a big uh, 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 name in Hollywood and is coming to to want about the discovery because, to work in a film division. And this is David Zaslav. Uh, uh, wanted to you know explore the potential that they come on they have superman why are they making movies about i don't know blue beetle 
Not for your against the blue beetle. Yeah, no, I'm actually quite excited about that one. Not and the costumes look so good. Yeah, but but come on. Before you make one one blue beetle movie, you should be making six Superman movies. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we shall see what happens there. Um, but in the meantime, let's go back to San Diego Comic Con and oh, unless do you have anything else to no you know that okay. So San Diego Comic Con happened this past weekend, and as per usual, all the big studios were there releasing tons of new trailers, announcements, all this good stuff. So let's spend a hot minute with. The MCU. Frankly, I'm getting a little MCU fatigue and seeing their announcements. There was like really not much in the announcements that got me like excited. Yeah. Um, there's nothing I'm like a... super looking forward to. This past Thor movie, all due respect to everyone who made it, like if they didn't make that movie, I don't feel like it. <sighs> yeah, and someone, it's, like, some, so forgettable someone, someone online say. was uh, on the news saying that this is the perfect movie. To be uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth's last, it's like no, no, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't end with the guy in this terrible note. Come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so we got a trailer for Wakanda. Okay, ever said my favorite. Yeah, Wakanda Forever. This one looks like it could be good. It's a dramatic, emotional trailer where we see the nation in mourning for, um, for T'Challa. Um, and yeah, it kind of goes. Yeah, but then there. they poop on everything, and they bring the worst version of Namor. The, it looks terrible. It looks awful, and they're going for the whole diversity, inclusivity, whatever uh, card. Mm -hmm. And they change the character completely. He's not Atlantean. He's not the king of Atlantis. Yeah. He's the the sovereign he's a, Talokan. Which, so he's like a Mesoamerican. Yes, which Aquatic someone said. Which someone said that Talokan. Monarch. Talokan is is a uh, is May, Ma, a Mayan. Mayan. Uh, but the, the his costume looks Aztec or vice versa. So uh, they messing around the whole thing. It looks bad, and they, to, for the sake of oh, to go, it's like create another character. Don't don't come up with something. Completely yeah, if you different. don't want to do that. Yeah. Then, yeah, I, I and think. so it, it's like too bad that it's gonna be a big part of the movie because yeah the 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 the, the Wakanda part of the trailer is emotional the yeah. king is dead and who's gonna be the Black mm -hmm. Panther and the mother's like I lost my entire oh my family gosh. and and it's it, it, it's good but then yeah. come, comes the Atlanteans and and poop in the thing and yeah, yeah poop in so. the water you know because <laughs> they from water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. So we shall see. I'm still holding out hope, though, for Shuri to take over the mantle of Black Panther. Um, and that's one so, thing that everybody's talking about. Is yeah. it Shuri? Is it Okoye? Is it the mother? I would accept is Okoye. It, the mother it, makes no sense. Is the girlfriend? I can't remember her name. Mm. Uh, uh, is it a big guy? What's his book? Uh, Bulldog? That's not Bulldog. Oh, uh, yes. I know who you're talking about. Anyways. Okay, and there's okay. Even, and there's even those. bats that could be a Killmonger. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. But sure, he would be the best. It would be awesome. The trailer also shows uh, Riri Williams, the, the the new modern in inclusivity, diverse uh, successor of Iron Man on the books. Iron I mean, Heart. Uh, I mean, she's not a successor of the Iron Man in the books. Always, oh, she anyways in the in the MCU is because Iron Man is dead, mm -hmm. so she would be Iron Hearts as an introduction to this new character for future shows and movies. What else? I guess for that one, that's it. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, do we have a release date for? That? We have like a whole page of release dates, and there's just so much got announced. Yeah, no release go, date for that one the, yet. Let's go to the the release dates. Uh, okay. uh, real quick, and then we go through the details we want to go through. Okay, She Hulk, August seventeenth. That's going to be on Disney Plus. Yeah. Secret Invasion is a series, right? Yes. Spring twenty twenty three. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, May fifth, twenty twenty three. Loki season two, summer of twenty twenty three. Blade, November third, twenty twenty three. Um, Echo Disney Plus in summer of 23, Ironheart Disney Plus fall of 23, Agatha Coven of Chaos will be Disney Plus winter of 23, 
Captain America New World Order will be in theaters May 3rd of 24. Daredevil, the new season Daredevil Born Again, which will bring back Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, um, will be coming to Disney Plus in Spring 24. Thunderbolts will be in theaters July 26, 24. Fantastic Four, November 8th, 24. The King Dynasty um, will be May 2nd, 25. And Secret Wars will be in, these are both films, will be in theaters of no November 7th, 25. Yeah, those last two Whew. Avengers movies. Uh, and as, as as we said, uh, the Brewster brothers are not involved. At least in one of them, the mm, first mm -hmm. one's going to be directed uh, directed by the director of uh, Chang Chi. Yes. And yeah, that's 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 all I know. I mean, it has Kang Dynasty uh, mm -hmm. on it. Uh, those some of those leaked a couple of days before because uh, Marvel Disney copyrighted some of those names in Europe, so some mm. some are not a surprise. Uh, but there's a couple some other names that are copyrighted that didn't pop in my pop. One is called yeah. uh, Eternity Wars. Interesting. There's one called Nomad. Um, I think I think yeah I, I I'll have to stop here. There's a couple more, mm. but I don't remember. But that would make sense because uh, Infinity War, everybody thought it would be the end, and uh, in fact it wasn't. It it, it it's like a cliff hangs. It hangs in the cliff, yes. uh, uh, you know, a big cliff, yeah. and then came another one that was the end game. So it mm -hmm. would make sense if some of those Avengers movies sure are end like will, cliffhangers. Yeah, because the phase five and six, uh, uh, it, it's like the Avenger movies at the end. You know, you, you should mm. in the other phases you have an Avenger movies in the middle, and then one at the end. Anyways. Moving on. Yeah, there's so much. Okay, so yeah, we, we were just talking about Avengers five and six, King Dynasty and Secret Wars. Um, and this all all this is called the multiverse saga now. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, um, Adam Warlock is going to be a part of that, and they unveiled the first look. Yes. For him. Uh, also, uh, it was said that this one's going to be a little bit more serious. Which come mm. on, uh, James Gunn, it's, uh, the, the, yeah. the Guns of the Galaxy, <laughs> yeah, and they would right. also focus on the origins of Rock. Oh, Rocket, sorry, not Rock, Rocket, uh, the yeah. Raccoon, the Raccoon. Okay, interesting. It's interesting they're bringing bringing Adam Warlock in now because Warlock was like he's like the big player in the whole um, Infinity Gauntlet story in in the comic books. Yeah, and as a kind of a, a tease, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, among the other teases that disappoint people, there yeah. was one tease that uh, people know that, and then mm -hmm. he was teased at the end of the second Guardians of the Galaxy, and people expect, expected that he would be on on uh, Infinity War and yeah. Endgame and nothing. So I don't know if that was for the tease, and now it's going to be, be a character, mm -hmm. or if he it was never a plan. And yeah. yeah. But now he's he's a character and he's going to be on the show. I think I would have a much easier time getting excited about Marvel if they didn't do so many teases that didn't really result in... Yeah, some... Uh, but people, they relied a lot on, like, teases and hype and, like, blowing up fan theories that just don't lead anywhere. But if they'd actually, like, follow through on stuff, then... Yeah, surprises are good, too. I mean... Yes. And they, and they, they tend to not to they tease, 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 tease. tease. And usually a surprise is when a speculation caused by the tease is dismissed and it's not a surprise, it's a disappointment. Yeah. So, yeah. well, anyway. And we'll see. Um, there was a trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Yeah. Described as surprisingly chilling. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that means because the, the other ones were kind of chill. It's like Poe Rudd. Come on. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, let's see. So the Daredevil series is going to be 18 episodes, which is pretty long. Most of the, the all the other... Is the longest uh, Marvel yeah. show to date. Uh, but they have a good, uh, um, a good, uh, background, a good past from the Netflix shows. Uh, even though the Netflix shows are not that long. Mm -hmm. So they're going beyond. They're going to try to do better than Netflix. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's preoccupying because, well, we'll see. Yeah. The, the it's gone born again. So there's mm -hmm. speculations that he was blipped. And once he's oh. finally back, uh, his life was erased by by Fisk. 
-hmm. just like a similar uh, book. Okay. Yeah, that would... Okay, I, I could watch that. I mean, we're going to watch it no matter what, but I would enjoy that. Um, let's see. What else? They previewed X-Men 97 and What If Season 2. Yeah. Um, what do we know about X-Men 97? It's a sequence. It's a sequel for the, uh, the 1997 X-Men uh, show. Okay. The most beloved X-Men show ever mm -hmm. for, for, for many considered the standard of uh, mm -hmm. animation for superhero yeah. should be. Of course, not nothing like Justice League. Well. There was, uh, uh, but so on the good. Marvel side at least. And yeah, they're going to follow up and continue the show. Mm-hmm. Okay, they've also, there's going to be a series of shorts called I Am Groot. Which That's right, a whole series dedicated to Groot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for That's Marvel writers, it's actually pretty hard. They have to write a lot, right? I'm Groot, I'm Groot, <laughs> I'm Groot. And they're still going to so. screw that up, so... I don't, I'm, I was relieved to see that it's a series of shorts. These could just be cute and goofy. Like they just did a bunch for Baymax. And um, for the Simpsons. Yeah. So so this, I don't know. If if they stay in their lane and do something like fun and goofy and cute for Groot, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, She-Hulk. There's a new trailer. She-Hulk. The first trailer wasn't exciting. This one. Um, uh, there's Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, that excites. So yeah. yeah, the Hulk is there, and you know the Hulk, uh, the, the 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 Hulk became the smart Hulk, but mm -hmm. not really smart. And the training, and she's gonna be a lawyer, and mm -hmm. we'll see. It, it's not that. Wow, I w hope I my entire life I waited for this moment. Yeah, definitely not that kind yeah. of show. I think there's enough there to enjoy. Because even, even the simple thing, watchable, even the simple watchable, thing, but even the simple thing uh, uh, that like She Hulk is like this beautiful, really beautiful woman. I don't think they. I think they messed up in the cast. Plus the special effects. It's it's not. It's not even. Yeah. Uh, the special effects leave a little to be desired, but yeah, yeah we'll see. Um, in the meantime, Marvel unveiled a real life Infinity Gauntlet real life but with all kinds of like precious like gold and precious stones set into it worth 25 million dollars yeah i feel like thanos expended a lot more than that putting his together but <coughs> thanos would go to jail if they they tried to rob this one <laughs> which he did in the comic books in the, some original comic books com really? thanos has a helicopter uh, he fights Spider-Man and he, he goes to shield by regular oh. cops, not shield. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So anything else from the MCU? Um, That's everything uh, on my list, I we think. Saw, we, we talk about the trailers you saw, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, yeah. Just, just uh, can I see the list to the list? Of, uh, I did. The list really so, safe, yeah. Some, some of the things coming, uh, uh, coming to the MCU... It's like we have a mix of it's it's almost everything is is new, you know. You don't have anything that like excites like Iron Man, Captain America, Thor. Because even Captain America is a new Captain America. Right. Uh, you have nothing like big that people are waiting for. We have the Fantastic Four. That's gonna be at the end of the list. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, I don't know, especially these last couple of movies. I don't know how they're gonna expand and connect and move uh, to to this to this new saga to end up on this new Avengers. And yeah, anyways, we shall see. I would really appreciate if some more effort went into quality over quantity. I think we would all benefit. The franchise would benefit. But that's not been Disney's thing at all ever so yeah. um i guess we'll see what happens some of these could be really good some of them i'm super skeptical about but we'll see oh there's a new animation for spider-man uh, called spider-man oh. freshman year uh there was hmm. also a feature there uh which again it's it's an animation and it's hit or miss it looks interesting but who mm -hmm. knows if it's gonna be is it a series or is it a movie a series, series, series. okay yeah all right, let's move over to DC. Um, so we've already 
Well, first of all, there was something that was like pretty breaking news as of this recording. Yeah, well, let's leave it up to that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so there was uh, Superman was expected. He never yep. showed up. Nope. Uh, but we did have big panels for Black Adam mm -hmm. and Shazam, Three of Gods. And uh, yeah. uh, apparently Captain Marvel and the Marvel family now goes by the Shazamily, which is, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it fits with the whole comedic... Uh, it's definitely something that Billy would come up with, and it's a good move given that, like, d MCU kind of, like, staked a claim on the Captain Marvel name already. Like, they had to come yeah, up with something it's a, it's else. A, yeah, because of legal reasons. But, because, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how... Just for marketing it. reasons, like, how confusing would it be to be like, yeah, that's this great movie about the Marvels. Uh, like, anyways. which way, anyway... Uh, 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 the the whole thing with the the and someone claim about the whole the whole copy and and doing things. If that's some some, some what some people uh, speculate. That's why they they screw up now screwed up now more Neymar so 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 bigly uh, to to do something different to not be Atlantis to not be you know. Uh, uh, that's why they made him Mesoamerican and and Talukan. Anyways. <laughs> it's not clear. Yeah. Either way, either way, uh, the Shazam, the Captain Marvel family, and, mm -hmm. and, and Captain Marvel or Shazam. It, it's interesting because uh, I think it's uh, Captain Marvel Junior. Is that Junior? I can't remember the name. Uh, one of them, or is mm -hmm. always Mary Marvel. One of them. Uh, the way they transform, mm -hmm. uh, the way Captain Marvel transforms, he says Shazam, mm -hmm. the name of the wizard, uh, and one of the others. I can't remember which one. Let's say it's Mary. Mary Marvel, once she's transformed, she says Captain Marvel's name. Captain Marvel. Oh. The trailer shows them all saying Shazam. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like I think it's a nice cinematic moment. Yeah. Um, but on the like first it, movie, there was a problem that... And, 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 and uh, he's like, come on, guys, say my name. Like, Billy Baxter. And, and she's like, no, 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 Shazam. And But it, when he says Shazam, he should revert into him. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, but but they showed the trailer. The panel, the whole cast was there. Mm -hmm. The trailer looks good. It's it's yeah. exciting. It's definitely it's definitely a big one. I, f I feel very excited about that one. Yes. Um, the first one was really good, and this so one good. promises they're gonna go beyond. And yeah, superheroes fighting bad guys and mm -hmm. ancient gods and yeah, and them. Helen Mirren. Yeah, and Lucy Liu. And as bad guys, and the and family, yes, <laughs> yes, the family. And one of my favorite things that DC like never fails to deliver this whole like crisis, like your own personal crisis. Like, their heroes are just really good. I think it's like going through their own inner things at the same time as they're facing like these big other issues and it just makes them i think so watchable and inspiring and it's i just i love it a testament of it. snyder quality uh, uh or the snyder version and bringing hope mm -hmm. still there's hope <laughs> is that this trailer shows aquaman shows mm -hmm. batman and shows the flash so yes. uh yeah and since we're talking about aquaman mm -hmm. and batman yeah uh, it was uh breaking news just uh, a couple uh minutes ago that Ben Affleck was confirmed he's gonna be on the Batman. Oh, he's gonna be the Batman. He's gonna be on <laughs> Aquaman 2. Yeah. And yeah. Aquaman 2 needed good news, and I feel like this is good news. Then, 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 uh, yeah. There was rumors that Keaton would be involved because Aquaman would be after the Flash, but now that Aquaman's um. gonna be released before the Flash, there's Affleck, but there's, you know, it's the, the, the Flash <laughs> is. It's so uncertain because of it Ezra is. screwing things up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Between Ezra Miller and Amber Heard, like, they've both thrown a huge wrench into the works at, at Warner Brothers and, and into the release of these movies. Um, to the point that, like, DC didn't really show, like, a whole that's, lot of, like, the trailers That's why stuff. you hire Henry Cavill. It's like, good guy. Yes! A nerd guy, the it, Superman. Yes! 
I was just reading that uh, uh, they asked him to shave uh, on the Man of Steel. Yeah. And he said, like, why? No, Superman has chest hair. I read the death of Superman and he uh-huh. has chest hair. You know? Yeah. And the kind of nerdy things he does in the set of The Witcher. Oh my gosh. And he's like, keep correct. He's like, no, 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 no. The blood elves are doing this. This is like, yeah. oh. People are like, it's like, oh, yes, but the sword of the grip. <coughs> nerd. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's like the biggest nerd and that makes him so perfect for these roles. <laughs> So perfect. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on. Oh, and then there's that story about how he was like playing World of Warcraft when he got the call for, when he got the call for Superman, yeah. and like he finished the raid before he took the call. He they, let they made them wait. He made Snyder wait. Yeah. On the phone. Yo, he didn't even answer the phone. Like he saw it and was like, "Okay, I'll get that." Oh, he but, saw the phone. I but he's on World of Warcraft, right? He yeah. can't pause that. He was there for like. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. He's Shazam, one of us is what I'm saying. Shazam, the Fury of Gods uh, uh, yeah. coming soon. Is this 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 uh, December? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I hope so. We and, need it. And, I want it. And, um, or oh, is that coming coming first? I don't know. We we check the dates. It, yeah. The, 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 the dates keep changing, but it mm-hmm. looks good. It looks fun. And yeah. Yeah. The other uh, Marvel family or Shazam family, Shazamily uh, <laughs> character that uh, took over San Diego was mm. Black Adam. Yeah. And he literally brought the lightning to the yeah. whole age. Dwayne Johnson Rock, Dwayne Rock Johnson, whatever, uh, came in full costume. Mm-hmm. Flying to the panel with lightning, lightning, Dang. everything. That's so cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, the man is an entertainer. He's selling the the what's he, what's he calls it the the gimmick. The gimmick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Young Rock, by the way, that TV show is way better than it should have been. I feel like so a lot of what we're referencing here, stuff we've learned about him through the show. Anyway, um, but yeah, Black Adam. The new trailers look so good. Um, he's he's been selling it for years. All through shooting, he was preparing for shooting through the throughout shooting the film. He was talking about it on his Instagram. What an incredible experience it was! How hard he worked for it. And he um, was always, he was always a, a, a big name behind it. I remember, like way before all that happening, mm-hmm. uh, uh, there was always rumors of him making a Shazam or a Black Adam movie. Mm-hmm. And at first, he would be Shazam. Then it changed and keep changing, and finally got to the point that, w- that we are now, which is good because now we have two different uh, series of movies, mm-hmm. and eventually they will collide. Yes. Speaking of colliding, Viola Davis is confirmed for Black Adam, right? For Black Adam, yeah. yeah. Amanda Waller, mm-hmm. leader so. of the sneaky spies, <laughs> Suicide Squads, and stuff. Yep. Such oh, and Viola Davis, I think it's such great casting. For Amanda Waller, even though she looks really different from the comic books, she's I think she's great at the whole like the whole just completely soulless psychopath thing. I, I assume she's great at it. Um, okay, also there was a trailer for Sandman. Oh so yeah, this is a new series DC, based on Neil Gaiman's work. DC Vertigo, the mm-hmm. master of dreams, the king of dreams. Uh, Morpheus? Uh, does this see? Uh, no. Nope. Never mind. Never no mind. Sandman. Yep. Yeah. I just forget. Forget yeah. that I said that. We'll just. Yeah. yeah. He has different names, but on yeah. this series, it's Sandman. It's just Sandman. There was this okay. whole thing about the on the trailer. Did you see the trailer? I did. Yeah, <laughs> we have children. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, uh, the trailer is beautiful. The the show yeah. has a lot of problems, mostly casting. There's some very controversial There's casting. There's gender bending. Mm-hmm. There's like race bending, race promoting, whatever. The, I don't know what they would mm-hmm. call it. Uh, they change uh, some characters drastically, but the the concepts, the essence, is there. So it's yeah. promising. Um, I haven't read the comics yet. I got them for him a couple Christmases ago, and anyway, haven't read them yet. But I did like flip through the art, and what we saw on the trailer looked a lot like. Yeah, if what anything, I the guy that cast for 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 Sandman is is it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And Neil Gaiman has been involved with 
the series, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So well, again, if you know, if you pay him enough, he would say, "Oh, okay, you 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 want to make uh, uh, send me into a balloon, and 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 he's he's a balloon and a pig, and he flies. Sure, yeah, okay, I'm right, good." I'm just saying, Neil Gaiman <laughs> has turned out a lot of very interesting stories, and many of them have been turned into cool movies or TV shows. So yeah. I'm. I it am optimistic. It looks but it does, cool. It does look good. Uh, uh, besides the problems. Uh, for yes. Netflix, coming soon. Mm-hmm. Not Very soon, soon enough, but coming. <laughs> um, Zach's... Okay, so Teen Titans Go! is coming up on the 365th episode, titled aptly 365. Yes, and Snyder te- teased... Uh, Zack Snyder teased that he would be uh, at San Diego Comic Con, and it turned out that he... He was. It was announced mm-hmm. that, that he's going to be uh, on this show, voicing himself. Uh, fun. Yeah, and that's exactly what Teen Titans Go! is. So, so fun. Um, this was not from uh, SDCC, but since we're talking about DC, um, a new ga- the beta, it's still the beta, right? It's still the beta, open yeah, beta. Of a new game called Multiverses. Yeah, WB Multiverses that mm-hmm. combines all the, the franchises and, and characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when we say all the franchises, we're talking about everybody from like Jake the Dog and Steven Universe to Arya Stark to Shaggy, Superman, Bugs Bunny, like everybody. Uh, LeBron mm-hmm. was announced. Uh, wow. the, the wave of new characters. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, the the game is getting uh, records numbers like a hundred thousand uh, simultaneous players uh, on the beta. So mm-hmm. that's pretty big. Yeah, we've been playing it. It's it's really really fun. Um, okay, so I think that's everything for DC. So let's move on to Star Trek. Star Trek. So yeah. l- l- let's go to this because uh, uh, there's so much stuff to talk and. Oh, you, you, you're running out of time, but Star yeah. Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2 mm-hmm. uh, will have a crossover with Star Trek Lower Decks. Both shows are fun, mm-hmm. uh, but one is an animation. Yes, I hear you saying, but wait, one is an animated comedy set in an entirely different century. That's true, and the animated characters will be appearing on Strange yeah. New Worlds. No details on this story, but that's good. Yeah. You're going to be surprised. Strange New Worlds has been my favorite new Star Trek series um, in this, this whole round of anyway it's great even though William Shatner was on the news this week and said that I knew Gene Roddenberry and Gene Roddenberry would hate what they do into Star Trek so let's leave it there moving on uh, Picard is gonna have a mm-hmm. new season it's gonna be the last season mm-hmm. third season and the gang is back together yeah so by the game, we've got LeVar Burton, whose daughter is going to appear on the show as Jordy's daughter. Oh, that's cool. Is what I heard. I may have misread some things, so like take it with a grain of salt. But, um, we've, yeah, so Jordy's coming back. Worf, um, Riker, Deanna Troy, uh, oh my gosh, Beverly Crusher. Yeah. And we know, who knows, we might see other people like we see on the previous season of mm-hmm. Hikaru. We see that annoying little brat, you know. Uh, I'm still waiting for Barkley to show up somewhere. Yeah. I would really love to see Barkley show up. Um, but <laughs> that's just me. Anyway, so new season, last season, um, Patrick Stewart has been saying wonderful things about it. Um, so, I yeah, that's yeah. coming Lower, Dre- Lower Decks also had the the season three trailer, and <laughs> it looks spectacular, funny, yeah. as the show has been doing. Mm-hmm. So. Um, okay, back to Disney very briefly. They are doing a TV series for Disney Plus based on Aragon. So this is a series, a fantasy series written by Christopher Paolini, and a movie was made that was just like so. It was just, it was heinous. It was terrible. We pretend it doesn't even exist. It was even worse than Shyamalan's Avatar The Last Airbender. Just bad. So, there are hopes. I don't know. I, 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 for can, I can this one. I can say things about Avatar. Uh-huh. What Shyamalan did, I can, say, I can compare. Yeah. And, and Aragorn, same thing. I can compare. I didn't read the books. But yeah. this new show is coming and we'll see. We'll uh, see. The fans demanded and Bernard is coming to Santa Claus the series. For Disney, as like everybody complains, like where is he? It's like they show the family and show mm-hmm. some new characters on this poster, uh, promotional, promotional, promotional image. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So weird. Uh, uh, and he wasn't there, but the fans demanded, 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 mm-hmm. and Disney banned it. So 
It's coming. Yes. Okay, Netflix um, has a new trailer out for their movie Blonde. This is a show about Ma- movie about Marilyn Monroe. It's based on a novel about her, um, and it's starring Ana de Armas in the title role. It looks it looks good. Mm-hmm. It's uh, interesting. There's she talks about how the character is not her and her is not the character, mm-hmm. and soon we'll see on Netflix. Yes. Okay. Amazon um, released a trailer for a new film called Thirteen Lives. This is about the Thai soccer team that got trapped in the cave and their rescue. So it's starring Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Yeah. yeah. It looks. Good. And Joe Edgerton, uh, directed by Ron Howard, it looks good. Yes. The guys always delivered. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it looks intense. It looks good. Yeah, looking forward to Amazon that. Amazon that uh, had the the visual of the streaming platform changed, mm-hmm. tweaked. And I was just uh, just checking it, and mm-hmm. it's basically Netflix. Oh. Yeah. Very Netflix same. Netflix is onto something. Very same visual but yeah. you know anyways okay. uh also from amazon rings of power the the show that everybody already hates uh it's uh it's getting a line of ice cream and it sounds good like mushrooms mm-hmm. and no yeah it's no. like it's elf stuff it's like uh, what are the ring stuff okay first of all mushrooms are a hobbit thing big time you say mushroom Lambas, i think hobbit. okay yeah yep. so it, it uses those ingredients at least on the name not necessarily that but as you read the rocks just, mm, i like that okay anyways we we're gonna taste so where that are soon. these available do you know i i, I can't remember the details okay we'll, well, check. we'll check it out Okay, um, FX is airing, starting August 24th, they're airing a documentary about Rob McElhaney and Ryan Reynolds um, and their purchase of and their experience with owning the Wrexham um, football team. It's called Welcome to Wrexham. Yeah. It's a documentary. It That's the really name sweet. of the team in England. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wales, actually. Sure, potatoes, patatas. Uh, anyways, yeah. Anyway, so that it, it's, it's an FX doc, so it's going to be on Hulu. Okay, Apple has renewed for all mankind. And the show is in four. high demand on the list. It's like one of the most mm-hmm. in the on demand shows. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's entertaining, it's fun. It's interesting. I'm liking it a lot better now that we're past like the real events. Like we're 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 into like just totally speculative stuff. Um I'm enjoying it more because I'm not like that didn't happen. Anyway. Um how about what's happening at HBO? Uh, HBO is going to release a series called My Dentist Murder Trial uh, with Peter Pascal and David Harbour uh, based on a true story of a, you know. Say no more, I'm sold. <laughs> I'll watch it. Yeah. Okay, Roland Emmerich is working on a gladiator themed epic for Peacock called Those About to Die. And yeah, it looks good. Based mm-hmm. on, you know, the same guy that, uh, uh, you know, gladiator vibes, I would say. Anyways. Quick, because we don't have a lot of time. Oh, sorry. The Walking Dead uh, mm-hmm. announced quite a bit uh, at San Diego. They're going to have the final episodes premiered. And uh, they have a trailer for that. It looks good. they also going to finally do that movie that they mentioned they would do with Andrew Lincoln once he left the show. But mm-hmm. it's now it's going to be a six-part series with Andrew Lincoln in the Nigeria. Uh, Tales of the Walking Dead, a new show, is coming uh, showing how the zombie apocalypse is kind of co- kind of like COVID. Can't get enough COVID content. Yeah, so there's a lot of Walking Dead coming, and it's, it's like I, I think it's like Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, Tales of Walking Dead, The Wood of Tomorrow. It's like five or six shows uh, of the Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Uh, a trailer for John Wick Four features Keanu Reeves with nunchucks. Again, say no more. I'm sold. I'll be there. Um, Wes Anderson is working on a new film, but had to boot Bill Murray because of COVID, and he's being replaced by Steve Carell. Yeah, um, and let's see, uh, Sylvester Stallone has got, got into a, a fight with uh, Irvin Winkland amid the rights of Rocky. And also about Rocky, mm-hmm. Creed is going to get a spinoff called Drago. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, the Weird Al Yankovic going to get a biopic called Weird, the Al Yankovic story, mm-hmm. to be released in November with 
Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. They've been releasing some photos, and he looks bizarrely like, we, well, it's frankly, frankly, it's weird how much he looks like Weird Al. It looks great. It looks very fun. Um, and we've seen Daniel Radcliffe in Miracle Workers, and like, oh my gosh. So good. So I am I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, so November fourth. Yeah. yeah. He's good for him that he's trying yeah. to do things, move away from the boy who lived. Yeah. Um, oh, he's left that behind. Yeah, he's 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 the boy who's trying to make a living. The boy who has an independent film yeah, career about making a apart living, from uh, Sid- Sydney that one role. Sweeten, uh, which is uh, a big name uh, these days. She's uh, she's uh, this pretty talented girl from uh, she was on uh, HBO's Euphoria. She was on uh, mm. White Lotus. She apparently she claims that she she can barely survive. The Hollywood doesn't pay as much as you know it huh. looks. Yeah. So, anyways, she's on a, or I think it's a Vogue this week. Anyways, uh, anything else? I don't think so. I yeah. think this was a pretty packed episode. Um, we'll have more coming in. I think next week we're seeing Bullet Train. Yeah, that look, looks good. Yeah, I'm I'm pumped for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime. In the meantime. Yeah. Oh, there was something about Deadpool. Some some really funny, some really dumb something Disney said that they would do to Deadpool what they did. No, they would do to something else what they did to Deadpool. I was like, yeah, pff, you're right. Anyways, that's it for this week. We come yep. back next week for more news, more movies, mm-hmm. more TV. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye.